Ciao, I'm Mario, a Swiss car guy on YouTube. And today I'm all packaged up in my uh, work jacket because I'm going to do some work on this car. Work that many people will think is completely unnecessary because I'm taking out the radio, the PCM 2.1 system that is was a very expensive option on this car and I'm going to replace it with a relatively cheap Chinese radio. So um, strap in for a world of entertainment. Okay, we start by removing the side panels and for this, this piece of trim needs to come off, which I'm conveniently blocking off with my hand. Other Torx bolts that hold the side panel in, I think it's these here, these two, T20s it is. So this is all removed now, so I should be able to get this away. So now that I've loosened the bolts, I should be able to just pull this away. Maybe opening the glove box a bit, or I don't know, maybe I should just pull it away. Yep, it's loose, and come on, it's off. That was quite easy. And I have to repeat the same thing on the other side. And this is out as well. So now I can most likely pull this out. The top as well. Yep. Um, yep, it is out. Without, well, I want to say without damaging the clip, but the top one is broken, so I either broke it myself or it was already broken because this thing has already been out once uh, because a the engine gateway like a USB Bluetooth adapter had been fitted. Yeah, because the top one is broken on all of these. Maybe I just replaced these panels. Knowing Porsche, I know these are not that expensive because I once replaced the one on my 996 that I had and that was like, I believe, 30 or 40 bucks. So, yeah. So this gives us access to the radio. The radio which apparently is held in with some Allen bolts things, which I can't see. There is one here and most likely one up here. Okay, this only turns like a quarter turn. Great, there I cannot get in, fantastic. But I can probably turn it by hand because it doesn't require really tools. Or maybe I cannot turn. Or maybe it's already turned. I don't know. Mm -hmm. The other side will be fun. Okay, so what tool am I using? A tiny little ratchet. Whether you can put the bit in, apparently. Or you can't. Oh, yes. This feels already better. Okay, now it should be all loose. Oh yeah, and it comes out. The radio's coming out, out already. So it wasn't that hard, at least, you know, loosening the radio to this point. I'm gonna get into the car and actually close the door because it's cold. And yes, if you notice, I have not disconnected the battery. That's why stuff is still on, because as I reckon it won't be necessary. So, let's see. First things first. Let's get this out of the way. Put down a cloth, because if it hangs down, I don't want to scratch anything. Maybe I can reclose this. large okay so there's connectors I need to undo I reckon there's fiber optic connectors here so hmm that's not good this car is not supposed to have a, si a fiber optic amplifier so I reckon this might just be for the navigation unit so let's be optimistic about it I should really be on the other side of the car yeah I think I will do that I'll move sides because the steering wheel is in the way. Also, 
since I'm starting to sweat, I've taken off my jacket. Because today is like 80 degrees, it's a cold day. And I thought, well, you know, I'd wear like three t-shirts and two pairs of socks and you know, I'm getting quite warm. Okay, so from this side, once more. This is the connector that worries me. Orange wire, fiber optics, so... Woo! I really hope my car doesn't use these for amplifier and stuff, so... Okay, now I have two, two fakras. Fakra, which sounds very offensive, but isn't, I think. Let's try to get this out. The fakra connector. This one is out. Also, this car has had a, um, a dungeon gateway added, a Bluetooth player, and I have no idea where it is because I expected to, you know, find it once I'm here, but I mean, there's certainly wires going places. Oh, wow, it's, mm, I need a bit of light. Oh, they installed it back there. Fantastic. So <laughs> this trim piece, I didn't want to remove. I now have to remove because I want to remove that old stuff because it doesn't really work properly. And then maybe I'll proceed to removing these things here to get the trim panel off. This almost feels like it, like it would come off, but I reckon there is something underneath this panel here. So, panel tool. Not the greatest panel tool, but it came free with the radio, so I think it will do the job. I think now it's, yep. Ha! Didn't break a clip. Ha <laughs> ha! Good. Okay. I think two. So this, this, I think I got all the screws. It should be very loose now. Unless there are screws underneath the trim panels. There must be, right? Hmm. So you wanna probably lift from underneath, I don't know. Oh. Came out, no clip broken, good result. Are there screws? No, there is actually nothing underneath this trim panel, so this should just come out. Okay, so according to the internet, I need to take the trim, the, the headlight switch out first, so I will do that. Okay, so apparently the, I need to remove this thing here. Yeah. Which I don't really see. This is just like this, okay. So there is one more screw. There is one more screw. One more screw, at least I think it's only one. There is another screw down there. And once that comes out, I think everything will work. Let's hope that. I'm already bleeding. I've worked on this car for like an hour and I'm already bleeding. Okay, it fell down onto the floor, so I have it, good. And now this should come out. Oh yes, oh yes. Things are moving. It still tells me to get out the light switch, but I don't really see why. So you push on the headlight switch and then turn it clockwise and then you pull it out and it just comes out, that's it. And then there's a lot of screws back there. Actually, it was four screws. I already moved two because I thought it was enough, but apparently it wasn't. I, I don't know. I, I mean, I will remove it now, all of them, because I just want to know if there's more screws behind the trim, which I find hard to believe, but I mean... Uh, this comes out good there's nothing back here I sh think I should have removed the trim ah you see it came out it just required pulling so 
The headlight trim doesn't need to come out, just the one screw that's held on here. This one. The other thing could have stayed in. Aha! Uh -huh. And there we have it. The dention, which is very dusty, which I need to get out. There is a microphone connected to it because it already has hands-free. I'm probably going to reuse this microphone, so because it's been installed up here. It's not very pretty, but I mean, it's there, so I'm going to use it. Okay, so what do I do here? Oh look, they fastened it with a piece of wood. That's very um, pretty. Um, okay, let's let's see. Let's try to get this in view. Oh, oh don't fall over. Good. Okay, what do I do with this thing? Because I wanted to get rid of this. Well, I obviously unscrew it. If I only had a screwdriver bit that would fit this thing. Did I screw through? I don't understand. Oh look, there are screws on the other side. Good. Fantastic. Fantastic. Ah, one screw. Not screws. One screw. Yeah, cool. Okay. Okay, so that's the Bluetooth. What the fuck is it, by the way? Because this is a Dention Gateway 500. It never really worked. That's why I doubted what it was. So, you know, good. But that means no fiber optic. This is a CD changer connection. Good. This car doesn't have a CD changer. And the tension, it pretends to be a CD player. So that's how it works. Okay. This thing is out. I will unplug this one. This has just been stuck down, hasn't it? Yep, double-sided tape. Okay, this thing is out. Okay. Oh, maybe I can even get the piece of wood out. Oh, it's MDF, not even wood. Good. It's actually... I like MDF. But I just don't need this thing anymore. Thanks for the holes. Thankfully, they are not through the panel, so... Okay. Okay, okay, so I'm going to pull the wires out if I can. Okay, so here we have this orange wire, which I think I don't need anymore. I mean, there's another orange wire. Where the hell does that go? There's another orange wire. Now oh, this is like a loop okay forget the wiring thing now instead of removing all these stupid cables i'm just going to install the radio which is here in this there's a lot of wires okay let's see what i'm gonna need okay this is 4g antenna amp control and pre-outs apparently aux in video out cvbs in maybe m mic okay this is a microphone in this i might want but i don't need it right away this is the 4g antenna which i'm not going to use because i'm not going to use 4g in the car this is a gps receiver which i try not to use because i want to use the car's original one this is a usb and this is a usb so i might use the usb i might not initially use these I might even not use these for the first trial fit. Here we have, oh yeah, cameras. I bought a 360 camera kit that I'm not going to fit today, but at some point I may fit cameras front, rear, and in the in the mirrors, but um, not today. So what do we have here? Oh, okay, here we have an ISO harness with the CAN bus decoder, which is very important because with a CAN bus decoder um, radio, aftermarket radios don't work in modern cars, so this is good. And then we have the head unit, which I haven't shown you until now, because it looks like this. Should fit nicely, let's see. So here we have it, this is what it looks like. It's very light, yes. It's covered in foil, so I might have to undo it. 
that's just, you know, mm -hmm. looks not bad. I wish it had some more protective stuff. Oh, it has foil on the metal, but nothing on the plastic, which, mm, yeah, right. But anyway, I want to trial fit this thing, so... Okay, I will start. I will actually connect this stuff first. As usual with Chinese radios, there is no instruction, so you're on your own. Which is fantastic, really. But usually you don't have too many connections to make, so it's not that hard. I mean, this... Um, these are mostly our ESO connectors, or are they DIN connectors? I don't know, but they are keyed in a way that they only can fit into one connector. But for the time being, this is enough. So I will just put, connect this one, which I reckon is here. And now the radio should already sort of work. I'll do a little test. Oh, this is nice and snug. Wow, this actually is really tight. Huh? I read on the internet that these radios fit really loosely, but um, no, this one seems quite tight. Ah, the rail is actually a bit too large. Fantastic. <laughs> the rail is too large. It doesn't fit at all. I mean, it fits, but oh, okay. This is as good as it has to be. Let me see whether, oh. Yeah, now I wanted to turn on the ignition to see if it turns on, but um, yeah, my ignition is sort of down here. Oh, it turns on. It turned on. It's on. And it shows an Audi. Okay. Apparently it defaulted to 3D camera, which... Hmm. Wow, this this volume feels really nice. I like it. Um, ooh, it beeps. That's a good sign, actually. I should play some music to see... The thing is, I don't know if my amplifier will work because these Chinese radios, usually they're not connected properly. So I don't know if my amplifier works. So I need to try out some music or some sound of some sort. This, I will connect Bluetooth. I knew it. There is no bass. There is no bass. Because I reckon that the bass speakers are driven by the amplifier and the amplifier is not working. Good news everyone, I found the antenna adapter. It was provided, I just dropped it. So, DIN to FACRA, yeah it's called FACRA, it's not, you know, DIN to FACRA with an antenna C, which I reckon is for amplification maybe. So I need to connect this up somehow with a butt connector and I'm pretty sure I haven't brought any back connectors so great on that but I think I found the amplifier wire which is here I will try and bridge it to see if it uh, enables the amplifier when I do that so I will try to bridge this I don't know if you could hear it, but uh, I managed the amplifier to work because I found the right connector and I finally bridged it well. So, just for future reference, it's pin 2 on this connector. It's, in my case, it's the red and black wire. Or maybe it's black and red. But it's this wire that needs to be connected to 12 volts to turn on the amplifier. So, yeah. I know now, and I know which one I have to bridge. That's already a good thing. So, how am I gonna do it? Well, well, well. I can take my antenna cable, my auto antenna cable, which will provide the power I need, and then just, you know, crimp this into place. With this, I reckon. The iOS DuPont crimper, because I'm using DuPont connectors for this one.
This time it wasn't cut and it's super strong. Good. Okay, pin two, which is this. Okay, so I think I'm about ready to put it back in. I played around with it, I connected a few things, but not everything, and I may have lost some screws. Yep, I had some screws on this rag and I lost them, so uh, great. Okay, now let me connect up the things I hadn't connected yet. So I've connected this harness for the cameras, even though I don't really need it. I've Here is a connector that's for the Oh, it's another canvas connector? Hmm. Maybe I should have plugged this in somewhere. And I reckon the somewhere is either here or here because there are two pretty similar connectors. Okay, there's a cable. This is in, I think, I reckon for the rear antenna. And this is like the Bluetooth antenna. So I think this, this goes in like here. Yes. Let's plug this in, good. This, however, is the antenna. Oh yeah, I wonder if that works. So I'll plug the antenna in. This is upside down. I plug the antenna in, which it is plugged in now. And then I have to figure out which of these two is the antenna. Possibly both. So black one is the radio antenna. And this apparently is microphone because there is a factory microphone that cannot be reused. So I just need to plug in the black to black. For now, I'm not connecting the power to it, the antenna C, which is probably antenna control. Well, I could actually try whether it works. Okay, it works. Okay, so the radio works. And the antenna works as well, because before I already connected uh, tried the radio when I turned it on the last time and it didn't work, so the antenna works, good. So I don't need to hook up any power to it, very good. So there's the GPS, which I reckon is not here. I reckon the GPS pack is probably in the somewhere else. So I'm, 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 I'm using the supply GPS, I don't care. It's gonna be good enough. Let's take it. Is it at least magnetic? No, it isn't. Fantastic. Because usually would, uh, I would just fasten it above the radio itself because it's good enough. The dash is of plastic so it can easily... Oh, yeah, I think I'll put it up there. On the switch for the... On the switch for the hazards. And guess I will not reuse the original antenna or I will reuse it because I think I have to uh, remove, or I will remove the navigation unit from the frunk. So at that point, I might just go in and uh, do this. Okay, so this, that's connected to the head unit. Because I won't work in GPS, otherwise Google Maps is not gonna be very useful. Okay, and that's the upper one. So this one. Then the only thing that I really have left to connect, I mean, you can put this back further back in because I know it will be necessary. I open this slightly. Maybe this because microphone, so I'll plug this in as well. This has a built-in microphone, but I have one already up there that I'd like to reuse. So I think I will plug this in as well wherever this plugs in, because I, oh yeah, okay, I have definitely the plug for it. Lots of wires back here. Mm. This does not sit nicely in there. I mean, it's probably in now. The SIM card holder, there's a lot of wires that I don't really need, but what can you do? Because the only thing I actually want is a microphone in. Everything else is like, mm, I don't care. So, it's this one. Because I don't need pre-outs, I could always mount them later if I needed them, but yeah. This is what I want, mic in. In fact, I can see if I can get the microphone cable all the way there, because it's here. 
and I reckon it's been tied together so a mm, bit more here and then let's route this back through here okay microphone phone wire is in it's got enough play good there's two USB cables so you can connect flash drives and stuff and there is a hole in the glove box that has already been made by the previous guys when they installed the tension thing and I will just reuse that so these are both here which means I can plug them into the back of the head unit and the last connector then it's all connected up everything is connected so okay now let's see if I can hide all these wires back there because it's um, quite a lot. Let's try to jam everything in there. Stuff it all in there. It will probably not work right away. It needs to go further back. It's always the same thing with these aftermarket radio. You got cables without end and then you have no space for them. Yeah, it doesn't stay in place. I reckon so much. Uh huh. Because these tabs are don't go far enough, right? At least it's not pushed out constantly now. Let's see if it still works after I stuffed it in there. Seems to. Yep, that works. Oh man, now I have to screw this thing back in in the rain. Lovely. And I'm basically done. Now I only have to rem remove some of the um, old wiring for the tension gateway which are sort of in here but this is something for another time yes for another time okay let's see if everything works yeah this is not holding on well I will order the brackets and have that fit perfectly because this is not the right way okay oh yeah I have a USB stick I think that I can try out Let's do that. Plug it into one of the USBs. And let's go to music player. Works. I know some of you may find the beep annoying, but I kind of like it because in, when I'm not looking at the screen, I know I've, I've, I've pushed it, you know. Oh, look, it's dimming because I turned on the lights. This is a setting I need to change because I don't like it. Oh yeah, I haven't given it actually any internet, I realize. Uh, let's go here to device. Let's activate the hotspot on my phone. Ciao, I'm Mario, the Swiss car guy on YouTube. And today I'm standing here on a sort of warm November day squinting into the sun it works so it has recognized me let's see while driving this route avoids a slowdown on a3w yeah whatever. you are on the fastest route you should reach your destination by 1653 let's see does it show the, the speed yep so even Google Maps seems to work I will of course install other apps and customize the thing to my liking but right now it's working and that's important so much better than the old thing yay so that's it the radio is installed at least partially in my uh, 2008 Porsche Cayman S and I think it works quite all right what do you think of it did I make a good swap should I have gone for the expensive Porsche original PCCM plus write your comments down below and also subscribe to this channel if you want to see more on this car more on the other cars more on me uh, follow me on Instagram at Swiss Car Guy Mario if you want to see additional content sometimes and anyway this is the end of the video thank you very much for watching have a nice day bye